Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round four. Oh wow, wow, it's, this tournament has flown by, we're on round four already, it's absolutely insane and yes. For those of you that are curious, the group stage will be finished before Christmas and yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that I am ta will take a break from doing tournament videos over the Christmas holidays and the uh, knockout round and that will start in the new year in January. So yes, I am taking a break from doing... I will take a break from the tournament videos during the festive period, but they will. But that will leave room for other content to go up that I'm looking forward to posting. But anyway, enough about that. On to this video. We, and then as I said, it is round four for Group A, a pivot or round this could be, and one that well, <laughs> I, I I got I got me wet wet pants on for this round because it could go, this could this is a round which could go horribly horribly wrong for me. But anyway, up first we will see our host Stranger Gamer going up against Michaela. A big game that could be for our hosts. A win here will pretty much take them through, but a defeat will put will heap the pressure on them to win their final round match. And then we will also see Cerno Strongest Fairy going up against Yamazanadu, a massive game for these two as well. And then a clash at the top between Engineer Gaming and Ghidorah. So, yep. Let's not dilly dally. Let's go over our first matchup, and well, thankfully it's my match, so we'll get it over. Okay then. In the red corner for our hosts, it is a Mega Raptor. Well, this I don't know how I feel about this matchup because I have the type of angle over the giggle with my camera, but all of her crits are extremely powerful. You know, all of the you know the the Lexos crit. The Giga's crit and the Tauro's crit are all really powerful, so... Crit block could definitely help me here. And I, you know, if I get it off. Of course, the good thing for me is that the crits are all rock. So if I get a crit, it's going to not just do some major damage, but it's going to put me in the driving seat because of the crit block. But anyway, as a... Well, as for the let's Dino in the red blue corner, you can see there, it's like Sophosaurus, but yes, let's get on with this match. It's going to be a big game for both of these combatants. Oop, we start with a tar. Quake Saber getting triggered. Ooh, and it's a Mega Raptor getting the first hit. So yeah, Mega Raptor could be key, a key asset in this matchup. Oh, it's a paper. Ooh, but he didn't get it. Instead, Michaela gets off a mole attack. Michaela again, her first hit of the match, and it's a mole attack, as you can see there. Decent amount of damage up. Oh, it's an earth barrier. I'd say now that puts Michaela in the lead. Well, well, there's the earth barrier. Gone in a flash. Although, at least they got the hit. At least they got rid of the earth barrier. Oh, went for another crit, but the Lexovasaurus gets off another mole attack. Will Michaela get off another Earth Barrier? No. An enticing start so far, a nervy start. They <laughs> got me wet, wet pants on for this matchup. <laughs> Ooh, a Cyclone. I don't think I've ever got this off with Mega Raptor yet. <laughs> definitely have, definitely have. Oh no, it's a quick save! Well, it's not bad. Because, you know, the Mega Raptor would have died anyway. Quick Saber or not. And it gets rid of it, so it's not too bad. It's not the worst case scenario. But, nonetheless, Michaela has a 1 0 lead. Wow, it's been very stuttery from our host so far in this tournament. The only real epic performance was against Ghidorah. <laughs> Anyway, as for the stranger in the in second dino, it's as Camarasaurus, the wild child itself, and well, it's definitely been a wild child. In the first matchup, it worked pretty well. In the second matchup, it, well, it didn't have to work too well because Mega Raptor did all the work. In the last matchup, it just didn't work at all. But I suppose that's the definition of a wild card. Oh, well, quick as a wink. Lexovasaurus dispatch and Stranger evens the score with a softening beam. Wow, this has been this has been an even match so far. Look at this. Neck and neck, but 
could this be the turning point? Because a Kayla second dino is a giga. Well, I could either turn the screw on this match or get the screw turned on me. Like, I'm not underestimating that Magma Blaster. It will still do a crap ton of damage. Even with a type disadvantage. And it's got Flare Sword and Volt Burst as well, so... I'm not underestimating this Giga. Oh! Kama gets the first hit! Again, the type advantage here. Look at that! Type advantage dealing extra damage. But that Magma Blaster has been triggered. Oh no, he's got it off! Oh no! Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, Kama, what's going to happen to you? Oh my god! What? What? What's happening? I got the type advantage! How are you dead? Oh, oh. What? What? I, I had the type advantage! And it killed it! What it? Are you serious? Enter the Allosaurus me! <laughs> um, well, um... I said at the start that I'd either turn the screw or get the screw turned on me, and I think it's the latter. Oh, Deinonychus getting a crucial hit, though. Well, I'd like to see a one-shot this Deinonychus with a defense boost. And secret move trigger. Okay, Magma Blast is not happening. Hi. It's another tie. Ooh, a spinning attack. Nice to see. Bit of a waste though, but the Giganonosaurus paying the price, getting paying the price for killing the camera. Well, you know what? I, I feel like I should give a bonus point for Michaela here for one basically one shot in a dinosaur that had the type advantage over you. Like I feel like you deserve a bonus point for that. But sadly, that's not how my tournaments work. Right, as for Michaela's third dino, it is a Super Taurosaurus. The Awaken mode is on three. Well, I'm going to say three. And I'm correct, because everyone picks three. And, well, Camarasaurus, yet to get... Well, didn't... didn't well, it got a hit, but, you know, didn't really get to showcase its true abilities. Oh, Deinonychus, on the other hand. We're definitely seeing what it can do. Taurosaurus, though, getting a hit. Was that? Yeah, that was twice. Yeah, that was twice. Next round is the Awaken mode. Oh, that's a tie. Well, I've guaranteed myself at least a losing bonus point should I lose this match. But I don't plan to lose this match. I hope to win. Oh, oh, I think I might have just won it. And <laughs> I think the light recovery is going to stop Marissa getting a losing bonus. Michaela getting a lose. Yep. Light recovery there to deny Michaela the losing bonus point and well. Phew. <laughs> Gotta breathe a huge sigh of relief. Like. Wow, well, I. I I feel for Michaela there because, you know, that the effort, they put in so much effort in that match, but the Deinonychus just pulling it away for the hosts. Picking up from the camera's slack. Yeah, he couldn't land a hit on the Deinonychus, unfortunately. Didn't happen for Michaela, and, well, unfortunately, the Awaken mode didn't get triggered, so I'm going to have a hard time finding the foot, getting the screenshot again. <laughs> But yep, uh, I'll, 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 you know what? I'll take that win. I'll take it. I will take it with extreme gratitude after what just happened. <laughs> oh, what just happened? I, I will take it. I will take a win. Like uh, that is, a, that feels like a big win. <sighs> right. Enough about our matchup. On to our next matchup now, which sees another big game at the bottom. 
between Cerno's strongest theory and Yamazama 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 do. Right then, in the red corner for Cerno's strongest theory, we have a Ustrep to Spondylus. Cerno getting off the mark in this tournament with a win in the last round against Michaela, the guy that seems the gal that seems to one-shot things with the tight disadvantage. However, in the blue corner for Yamazanadu, we have a Gojurasaurus. Yamazan hasn't quite happened for Yamazanadu since the first round win. Hasn't really got going and was quite disappointing against Godot. I thought they'd do better against Godot. Well, I probably thought they were going to win, but, you know, it's Godot we're talking about here. That guy don't care about tight disadvantages. He's going to win anyway. This could be a big game given earlier, given that first result as well. Big game between these two. The loser could be teetering on the edge of elimination. Yamazanadu getting the first hit there is a critical one. Attack boost coming through as well. Oh, that's another tie. Tie favour the Gojurasaurus though, it is charge tie. And yes, if you if you know, I am trying to rest my voice so I can record more videos. Oh, there's a biting wind coming in. Oh my god, that last video, that last round, that last match took a lot out of me. Basically, it took a lot out of me. Look at that recovery, gaining all that health back, turning the match around in one move. They got a cyclone off as well. All their moves activated at once. Well, it's a tie, but remember, Cyclone's in effect, so you strip the Spondylus, gets the hit. Wow. Never a, I'm never involved in a dull match, am I? Always classics. Well, Cerno has a 1-0 lead. So far, backing up. So far, looking strong after the win in the last round. As for Yamazana Doo's second dino, it's a super Tyler Rowers. Yamazana Doo still looking a bit shaky after that disappointing loss against Ghidorah. Ooh, but the Tyler Rowers does get the first hit. Double check the Awaken mode, and it should be Awaken mode on three. Like everyone else. No, not there. Oh, it's a crit from the U-Strap, though. Cerno looking really strong. And another Cyclone incoming. Well, that's twice. The Awaken mode might be key here for Yamazana do if they want to get back in this match. Look at this, another, another Cyclone, though. Allows the U-Strap the Spondylist to attack. Ooh, but the Crystal Crusher has been triggered. As has the Awaken mode. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not going to be able to get a screenshot now because the number's in the way. Oh, that could be big. I'm waiting for it to go to one, so... There. <laughs> oh, maybe that will be... Maybe that one will be better, but... Anyway, back to this match. The Ustrap the Spondylist finally going down. The Awaken mode paying off there. Well, normally this Mini King would be in trouble because it has the tight disadvantage against Atala Race, but... Well, first of all, as you saw in the last matchup, there's a tight advantage... Disadvan... Advan... That the type disadvantage means literally nothing. But, as Tala Rois is on right... Well, it's on a sliver of health, so again... Mini King not in that much trouble. But, if the Tala Rois can get off a hit, Yamazana Duke can come right back in this match. Oh, and it does get off a hit. It is stacked up with attack boost as well, so look at that. Big damage done by the Tyler Rores. Oh, look at this all of a sudden. Yamazanadu turning the match around. Mini King dispatched with ease. Wow, look at that. Insta-kill. Okay then, as for Cerno's third dino, it's a Krylophosaurus in the... I haven't seen too much of this guy 
hasn't really been that effective so far, but it's going to need to be effective here if Cerno wants to get back in this match. Leading quite comfortably early on with the Ustreptus Bond list, all of a sudden though, Tala Ruris has turned it around for Yamazanadu. Oh, there's a tie. Will that kill the Tala Ruris? No! Oh, for Oh, well, um... This will be interesting. Will it kill the Cryo? It's stacked with attack boost, mind. Well, it almost killed it. Look at that. Yamazanandu out of completely nowhere. On the brink of a bonus point win. And unfortunately, it's not going to get it. Well, but Yamazanandu has won this match. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, because, well, Yamazanadu basically just won the match there. What I am going to do real quick is get a screenshot of this Eokarkaria in the Awaken mode, so it'll be easier for me to do thumbnails. But yeah, Yamazanadu has won this match. So, whatever happens here is null and void, because Yamazanadu has won the match. So yeah, just, just give the trial a hit real quick. And it'll be Awakening time. Well, again, it doesn't matter. I, I'm literally doing this to get a screenshot of Eokarkiri in the Awaken mode, in case I don't have one already, so yeah. Get the tie. Yamazanadu has won. And it's a big win for Yamazanadu. Okay, for those of you that didn't know, what happened there between, with the tie between the Cryo and the uh, Talaruras is that the game, the game doesn't like it when two dinos die at the same time. So what the game will do, it'll like give one dino like a sliver of health back, which was the cryo in this case, so it won't be a that'll break the tie. But yeah, Yamazanadu is the winner there. Gets gets them right back in this group. As for Cerno, well, they're teetering on the edge of elimination now. It's gonna be tough for them to get out of group A. But enough about that. Let's move on to our final match of this session. And there's a big game at the top between Engineer Gaming and Ghidorah. Okay then, in the red corner for Engineer Gaming, it's an Acro Canvas Source. Engineer Gaming, 3 out of 3 so far, 100% winning record. And really, and definitely looking like the real deal in this tournament. Well, they looked, they were impressive last time, they just didn't back that up in the knockout rounds. Okay, in the blue corner for Ghidorah, we have a Shantangasaurus. Ghidorah again back to winning ways after suffering a big defeat in round two against the hosts. Which I, I, I like to keep reminding people of. <laughs> and for the first time in this tournament, this Shant will not have a type disadvantage against against Engineer Gaming's first dinosaur, which is a fire dinosaur. So we might actually get to see a bit of Shant action. But Engineer Gaming yet to be defeated in this tournament. But I actually fancy Ghidorah to win because if this Shant kills the Acro early, which it looks like it might do, then Ghidorah, then the Shant has the type of advantage over Panopolosaurus. So yeah, I think Ghidorah is going to win this match. But you know, I've been wrong pretty much every single time, so Engineer Gaming will probably win. Oh, the Acro getting their Engineer Gaming off the mark there with their first hit of the match. Ooh, a Flare Sword as well. Don't see too much, I haven't seen too much Flare Sword from this Acro, thankfully, because it's a laggy Flare Sword. Ghidorah again, no, Engineer Gaming getting a good hit there. And showing us all why he's won three out of three. Ooh, is the Shant done? Well, it will be. It is going to be 1-0 to Engineer Gaming. A Flare Sword coming in yet again. Engineer Gaming has the 1-0 lead. And tick one for Engineer Gaming there. Avoided a bad matchup against the Shant with Panoplosaurus. But here comes the big threat from Team Ghidorah. It's a Spinosaurus. Now this is something that Engineer Gaming has to be wary of. Because this Spinosaurus has been proven to be an absolute powerhouse and hits like a truck. Yep, there's the first hit from the Spino. There's the attack boost. 
Ghidorah getting back in this match. Ooh, but the Acro does get off another hit. Will we see a Flare Sword? Oh, we won't this time. Not this time, but I think Tag Team has been triggered. So Ghidorah's going to need two hits to kill the Acro and not one. But this Acro is starting to chip away at the Spino. Can't Engineer Gaming turn in the screw? Oh, that's a tie. This all suits Engineer Gaming down to the ground though. Wearing away at the Spino and preventing it from getting hits. Oh, I knew it! It's a tag team! The Spino gets the crit, it gets off the light recovery and attack boost, but the Acro is not going to take any damage. Papasaur is coming in to save the day. How crucial could that be? Attack boost coming in, has his light recovery? So it was still a good hit for Ghidorah, but it just didn't land any damage on the Acro. Oh, oh, random. Oh, for God's sake. Random number generator is being an arse today. Well, let's try again. Ooh, it's a tail smash from the Spino. Ghidorah even in the score, but the Acro did deal some damage to that Spino, so... Engineer Gaming still has the slight lead, but could that be a turning point? Okay, as for Engineer Gaming's second, I know it's the Panoplosaurus. This little red spiky-ish thing has been quite effective in so far for Engineer Gaming. Will it be effective this time? It'll be tough to tangle against the Spino though. Stacked up attack boost, it's got the power. And is starting to land some hits. And there's another one. Has Ghidorah, has Ghidorah stolen this match's momentum? Ooh, it's a tie. Maybe not. It's light recovery as well. That could be key. Which means that Ghidorah will probably need two hits to kill Panoplosaurus and not just one. Although, maybe one Tail Smash should do it. But you got to get that hit first. Yeah, one Tail Smash will do it. Because of the attack boost as well. Oh, it's a tie! The Spino going down! Engineer Gaming with a 2-1 lead. Is he going to make it 4 out of 4? Or will Ghidorah turn the match around with this Super Eokark area? Which we haven't seen that much of, because mainly the Spino's been doing all the damage. Uh, the Awaken mode is on three, like everybody else. <laughs> well, do not underestimate the power of an Eokark. It can definitely turn this match around and win it for Ghidorah. If I can never click the button. Oh, it's a hit, but there's the Dino Stuffer. Stopping that crit. Again, how crucial could that be? Ah, it's a little purple pink plushie. Alright, that's once. Ooh, could be very crucial. The Eocard gets the first hit. And it's getting off a flare sword. Is this curtain for Panoplosaurus? Engineer Gaming getting a taste of his own medicine, and yes, it is curtains for Panoplosaur. Oh, bless it, it looks like Roadkill. Then it look like Roadkill then. <laughs> well, this will be interesting. It's a clash of the supers, as Engineer Gaming's third dino is Super Carifosaurus. And unlike everyone else, the Awaken mode will be on two, I think. Yeah. I've written down two. Yeah, I think it's two. It's two. That means they'll both be awakened at the same time. Just thought of that. Will we get to that mark? The tie. Ties favour the Eocarp though, seem to take less damage. Oh, Ghidorah gets another hit. It's a Tappy Jara dive. Can Ghidorah win it? Emerald Garden getting triggered though. Is Engineer Gaming's winning streak in this tournament about to end? I think on this evidence, I'd say yes. Oh, look at that. 
Emerald Garden here needs to be activated. Oh, there's no! Ah, oh, but then of course we're not going to see the Awaken mode. Ghidorah gets the hit, gets the win. Engineer Gaming's winning streak is over. And I would probably say that is Ghidorah safely through to the last 32. As for Engineer Gaming, well, you know, did the Karifasaurus just didn't get going at all. If he got off the Emerald Garden, probably would have been a different match. But, you know, that is how it goes. So, yep, that's round four for Group A. We'll have a look at the table, see if anyone's guaranteed their places in the last 32 or have been eliminated, and then we'll end the session. Well, Group A looks for much better readings if you're me. <laughs> well, Ghidorah and Engineer Gaming are safely through. Four points clear of Yamazana do. Uh, yeah, yeah, these two are through. Ghidorah Engineer Gaming through to the last 32. And then we have our host, Stranger Gamer, clinging on to third place after getting a crucial win over Michaela. And then Yamazana do, despite winning, still in fourth on six points. And then Cerno in fifth on four points. And then poor old Michaela on three points. And well, actually, yeah, it's pretty much out. Actually, I should say pretty much out because even if they win 3-0, they'll go to eight points. They'll be level with me. But because I won our match, I'll be above them. So the best Michaela will finish now is fourth. So, you know, eight points, one of the best fourth place teams might be enough. But, you know, given how competitive the other groups are, I'd probably say maybe not. So, yeah, I would say realistically, I'd say Michaela is out. But, you know, this is still on. Also still on for Cerno as well. But, you know, can any of these... Well, Yamazanadu has, has a chance to sneak into the top three should I get defeated in the next round. So, yeah, it's still the play for for this slot. But these two can relax and sit in their deck chairs knowing that they are through. So yeah, let's have a look who's playing in the final round for Group A. It will be Ghidorah going up against Michaela. So probably another win for Ghidorah there, if I'm honest. Sorry, Michaela. Zerno strongest theory taking on the hosts. Oh, that could be big, big, big match. Big matches, these two. And then Engineer Gaming going up against Yamazanadu. Again, another big match there. So yeah, that is going to conclude this video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. Do all that stuff that people do when they like my videos. And until round four for Group B, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. <laughs>